environmental consequences of this pipeline with the possible contamination of drinking water and damage to uh, sacred burial sites as well. Now, when he took office, uh, Donald Trump ordered the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to carry out a, a final review, and it's that review that has just been completed, and the Army has told Congress that it plans to issue the necessary permits, the easement that is required for the developers, the owners of the land, to, to complete it, to, to cross privately owned land which is nearby. This is the Standing Rock Sioux Reservation and they have reacted angrily to this saying that uh, they will continue to fight this decision to, as they say, to protect their water and the sacred places from the brazen private interests trying to push this pipeline through. Now the owners of the pipeline, they are a, a Dallas-based company, Energy Transfer Partners. They continue to say that it is safe and it has been built as a way to more efficiently transport crude oil across the United States from North Dakota across four states to a terminal in Illinois where the crude oil will be then transferred to oil uh, refineries uh, to be used. Now Donald Trump has said that as far as he is concerned completing this project will serve the national interest. Peter Bowe is there. Do so with us on BBC News. Still to come, Twitter, Trump and the toweling bathrobe. A social media meltdown as the White House tries to...